Hello, welcome back to IT Landy B2C. We have covered a few topics earlier and Auth2 4. Now we're going to do Open ID Connect. Open ID Connect, what is it? Auth2 is not intended for authentication. Uh, defines an identity layer on top of Auth2. Uses two Auth2 flows authorization code flow, implicit flow. It adds an ID token to Auth2 exchange. It adds ability to request claim using Auth2 access. So this is the, what, what is it? It's refined in 2014 and Microsoft co-authored with it basically. How that will look like? AuthN with the authentication? No, AuthN is with the authorization code flow. Open ID, you can see how that works. You can see the examples. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna remove this so you can see how that works, yeah? One sec. Okay. So Open ID Connect provider. Uh, step one: client registration, auth and request, then auth and response. Browse to the log, web application. So client register with Open ID Connect. Use your browser to your browser to the web application. Login, redirect, authenticate, build the authorization code. Redirect again back to the application with authorization code, then you can provide it and then authenticate. So something like this. Okay. Response time, email, client ID, state, and then if they all two location, and then the token, then you post, and then you can see the grant in place. Okay. Right, next, user info endpoint return additional claim about the user REST API authentication with a token received for the open ID. And you can see this is very similar to what we do with all this JSON nowadays, you know, given name, share name, email address, and so on. Yeah. Then web application integration. Web app may be written in many different languages that support OpenID. Some of the examples, .NET, Java, Node.js, PHP, single page application, not support at this time. Yeah, so you have to use web. Invoking the policies, we saw this earlier, but this time you need to target the protect area of your code with policy, invoking this policy per area to enable us to retain the information we need. Mobile application, Use Auth2 to access token for web uh, API. Microsoft Authentication Library is available for iOS, Android, and simplifies the Auth2 integration. And it's like native client for iOS and Android. Some of the examples, here we go. Mobile signing experience, something like that. Yeah, sign up, sign in, and then web application, web API, you can see the trust for the identity provider, then auth2 request, get, then post, sign up page, here's my code, client ID, redirection, 302, and then before it's call, I come back to you, okay, 200, here's a token, scope of mine, user impersonation, refresh token, yes, available, bearer token, then back with a post request, and then you do the refresh token. So each access token issued by the auth server will expire at some point, yeah? Now the access token lifetime is usually one hour. I mentioned this one earlier. When an access token expires, the application can get new access token using what? A refresh token which has a longer validity period, like 14 days maximum, basically, or seven days. So preferable, I mean, sometimes we do the refresh token every seven days or three days. Again, depend how critical is the application. What do you have? Is, you know, is it really critical app? Then you can do it very short. Now, to request a new access token, the application, what we'll do, we'll send a new post request to the auth token endpoint and provide the refresh token as a query string 
parameter. Repeat. To request a new access token, the application sends a new post request to where? To the auth token end point and provide the refresh token as a query string parameter. You can see it on that blue post screen. Type grant type refresh token. Yeah. I, you need the client ID itself. Yeah. So hopefully that's all what I have for you for the session. The next one we will finish the course with some examples. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.